Greetings and welcome to the Relationality Podcast. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry, your host and certified relationship coach. In each episode, I will be sharing real and relative truths on love and dating to help prepare and position Christian singles for a fulfilling romantic relationship. So ladies and fellas, if you are dating and waiting, you've come to the right place. So get ready to grow and lay some groundwork for a successful marriage. Hey y'all, the title and topic of this episode is Hard, Heart is Hard. You ever try to date someone who was just hard and the dating experience was just hard? I mean, I've had this experience and I just flat out told the dude, you are hard to deal with. It was a lesson learned for me. And the lesson learned was it's hard to love and be in relationship with someone that has a hard heart. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 says, And this is God speaking. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove the stone from your flesh. And I will remove the heart of stone from flesh and give you a heart of flesh. In essence, God was saying, let me upgrade your heart to a new one. Even he can't do anything with the old hardened heart. So what he does is he upgrades the hard heart to being a pliable and teachable heart. So having a tender heart is necessary to having a healthy relationship. A hard heart by biblical definition is to inwardly and persistently refuse to hear and obey God's word. And so if a person's heart is hardened towards God, it definitely will be hardened towards people. So being uncaring and having an unsympathetic attitude is a manifestation of a hardened heart. And having this type of heart makes it hard, (laughs) I mean hard, to have a healthy relationship. This is one of the Holy Spirit's functions in our regenerated experience. He transforms the human heart, enabling it to love and obey God. He also renews and directs our heart towards people. And this is why we need him. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, keep the heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. In some translations, it says, for out of it flows the issues of life. So the root of life issues that people have is not really because of the issues with the government or the issues that are in our society or the issues with finances or their issues with health or any other area. It's a heart issue. Having a hard heart not only makes life hard, but it makes being relationally healthy hard because the heart is the core of your being. This is where you think. This is where you feel. This is where you take action. The heart is the core and seat of your emotions. It's the center of emotional reaction. It's the center of feeling and sensitivity. The heart is the seat and center of all physical and spiritual life. In Luke chapter 8, verse 43 through 48, the Bible tells us of a story about a woman who had an issue of blood. And the Bible also tells us in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, that life is in the blood. So the issue in this woman's blood affected her body because God created us to live from the inside out. So inner heart issues will cause outward issues. It will cause issues in your physical life, and it will definitely cause issues in your relational life. I mean, they've done studies on breast cancer and found that some of the women had long-term rooted issues of bitterness. So what goes on your heart, what goes on inwardly, will flow out and affect you outwardly. So if the heart is hard, your responses will be hard. Your attitude will be hard. You will be hard on yourself as well as other people. And you will be hard to love. That's what I told the dude I was dating. I'm like, you're just hard to deal with. You're hard to love. Just too hard. And someone with a hardened heart is hard to love. Someone with a hardened heart is hard to get along with. It's hard to communicate with someone who has a hardened heart. 
And one of the main reasons for people having a hard heart, I mean, I get it because I've experienced it. It's because of being hurt, especially and more specifically in bad relationships. But you got to guard your heart from being hardened. If it's already hardened, then you have to open your heart to God so that he can upgrade it, especially before you try to date anyone. You got to deal with your heart. And guarding my heart was something that I had to learn, especially when it came to dating, because I am a kind hearted person. And as you grow in grace, you learn how to have the father's heart. And so I used to look to God for him, you know, to stop me from being so kind hearted. I would be like, God, I'm tired of being nice to people because of the hurt, you know, I experience from people because people would take your kindness as weakness. And for some reason, people just can't handle kindness. Well, actually, we know the reason. I mean, based upon the topic of discussion, right? Their hearts are hardened, so they can't handle kindness. And so, of course, God's response to me was not that he was going to stop me from being kind or stop me from having a tender heart, because that wouldn't be a reflection of him and his nature. God is kind. He's kind hearted. But what he did do is he taught me how to guard my heart. So you don't want to stop from being tender hearted. You don't want to stop from being kind hearted. What you want to do is learn how to guard your heart. And one of the ways you do that is by not being so quick to open your heart to someone. Another way is by extending your hand first. Before extending your heart, having a hard heart is hard because nobody wants to be treated harshly and a hard heart can't heal. And if you don't heal, you will hurt. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Before you go, make sure you share and subscribe to the podcast at GwendolynGlobal.com slash podcast. So you'll get all the new episodes as soon as they drop. And one more thing. I want to know what's on your heart, so hit me up with any ideas or questions you have on love and dating. I'm happy to share some of the top requests and respond to some top questions in upcoming episodes. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry. Meet me next week for another episode of Relationality.